How's it going? Welcome back to their Marvel Snap deck highlight here on YouTube. Today we've got a really fun variation of the Agatha Harkness archetype. Agatha, if you're not familiar with her, is kind of an interesting deck building puzzle. So she's a six mana, 13 power card that says she always starts in your hand, but she plays your cards for you. Now the thing that's kind of powerful about this is that she isn't like Quicksilver or Domino. She doesn't take up one of your other card draws. She's just an additional fourth card that starts in your opening hand, and then you then draw a fifth card on the first turn. Now there's two things to know about Agatha. First is that she plays out any card she can play completely at random. So she has two cards she can play in a turn, she picks at random, and which location to she plays at random. But if you are able to play Agatha, she always plays herself. And if you're able to get Agatha out of your hand, you get to take back over control of the game, effectively just having started with an extra card in your hand to begin with. Now, that leads to the question, how do we get Ag Agatha out of her hand? A couple of different ways. We've got Blade, we've got Lady Sif, and we've got likely soon to be nerfed Hellcow here as ways to discard cards. Then, should we be able to get Agatha out of our hand and take back over control of the game, we get value out of the fact that we started with this 13 power card in our hand with our other two key cards, Hella here, who brings back all of our discarded cards at random to other locations, or Ghost Rider here, who brings back one of your discarded cards to a location. The rest of the deck is just other good things we wouldn't mind discarding and bringing back, such as Infinite or Captain Marvel. We also have Wave here who makes our next plays cost four. So if Wave gets played out, Agatha then costs four and then she guarantees gets put into play to give us control of the last couple of turns. Overall, this deck is definitely a ton of fun to watch it work in action. A lot of it is percentage plays and figuring out when to snap based on how many 50 percenters or 25 percenters or what spots you're in to be up or down or otherwise. It's a ride. If you want to roll some dice, would highly recommend it. Enjoy my die roll here in these highlight games. And remember, if you enjoy this type of thing, to tap that like button and step, stop by again soon for some more Marvel Snap action here on YouTube. A lot of Agatha. So the base idea of this deck is using things like Hellcow, she can discard Agatha from your hand. And then you could bring her back with things like Ghost Rider or Hella. So you kind of got this extra card for some value while mitigating some of the downside. You'll see every single turn when Agatha has managed to play a card, it'll just snap out real fast. So unless we draw a different two or three, Hellcow is going to jump to a location here. And then ideally, Hellcow is going to discard Agatha. And then once Agatha is out of our hand, we get to take back over in the driver's seat again. Nailed it. Okay, and now I get to just Ghost Rider, who's either going to bring back Lady Sif or Agatha into play. Lady Sif was not the most ideal. Hopefully we can draw Hella in the next couple of cards here. Sick, okay. So we'll... Wolverine here. I don't want a Swordmaster because he discards at random. And then Hella next turn brings back all the cards we've discarded. So she's going to bring back an Infinite and the Agatha. Ooh, speaking of Hella, this might be a Hella mirror. They've got Invisible Woman, and they just discarded something. They've got a uh, crystal here. God, that crystal is gorgeous. Love the rainbow background. Opponent retreated. They did not draw their Hella. All right, chat. Blade's got a 50% chance of making us happy here, and he didn't go into the negative zone. Running hot. Nailed it. 
Nuff said, bub. Okay. Solid chance of controlling our own destiny from here on out. Look at me. I'm in control. Ooh, and we found a Hella. That's exciting. Okay, so bear with me for a moment. If I Ghost Rider and we hit the seven power thing, it could discard the Infinaut to then get back with Hella. So if we win our coin flip followed by winning our coin flip, RNGs take the wheel. <laughs> Yahtzee! Yahtzee! Wait, why are we eating the Kia and not the Ninja? Nailed it, chat. What do you expect me to You think I'm here not to gamble? What do you think this is? Do you even know who I am? Ooh. Okay, so do I think 10 power is enough to win right? Do I think 10 power is enough to win right? They're a destroyer deck. Yes, they're absolutely a destroyer deck. That's why they didn't eat the ninja. Okay, so their destroyer is going to be 17 on the right. So I need I need to Hella here and then hope that Agatha or Infinite go here if they destroy her here. Of course, they could be destroyering left. Because destroyer left will be three. I guess it's, it's close. They're going to destroy her and they could go right or left here. Damn. Yes! The lads are here and they are wonderful! Gaze upon my lads and see that they are good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, RN Jesus. Play Lady Sif, discard Agatha. All right, we played Wolverine, but at least he didn't play him into the space throne here. Glass half full. Okay, Hellcow's in. So we're what, one out of five and then one out of four. So we have to miss a 75%er and an 80%er. 0.7 times. So we're about 44% we're about to discard Agatha this turn to the Hellcow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, chat. We'd been we'd been dodging playing into the space throne too like it was the matrix. Okay. Whew. So you're saying So you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. do. Okay. So what? We've discarded Agatha and who else? I wish I could see the cards I've discarded. We know there's three of them. We know there's three of them. All right, friends. Hit me, dealer. Bring in the guys, gals, and non-binary pals and give us enough power to win the game. Oh, we discarded Sif and Ghost Rider, too. Okay, so... There's a world where we Sif and Ghost Rider in the right order here too and then get a fourth card as well.
Yeah, I don't think Agatha is playable without Wave. Your, your win rate goes way up with Wave and Agatha because Agatha always plays herself if possible. So if you have Wave on three, you get to Agatha on four. Got him. Got him, chat. Listen. RN Jesus is taking the wheel and he is steering our ship in a profitable direction. All right. Which two drop are we playing, Agatha? 50% to get to control our own destiny, chat. Nailed it. Ooh, piece of candy. Hopefully the mirror dimension. A second big house would be kind of bad for us. Oh, Icebox hit Ghost Rider though, yikes. So we would need to hit a 75 percenter followed by a 60 percenter. We're like 60 percent. Yeah, we're, we're like 55 percent to discard Hella on this Hell Cow. Hey, I'm gonna yellow it. What do you expect me to do? Not gamble? Okay, and then if Ghost Rider hits Hella, it's still fine, right? So now we're one in three to get them all back. Damn. That seems okay for us. Oh, magic. That's not terrible for us. We have a card we can play next turn, I guess, but... It's annoying. So I don't want to fill in here because I want Captain Marvel to be able to jump here and win the game without triggering Mojo. So I'll just play these, right? So long, friend. Victory. Mindscape. Boo. <laughs> if this isn't the fairest scar I've ever seen, chat, I don't know what is. If this, if this right here is it just the absolutely fairest scar that's ever flipped up? We do have an extra board space, this is true. Uh, so now I do this, right?
All right, they're back there, Professor Cheese. Okay. Every time Professor Cheese loses a match, an angel gets its wings chip. All right, 50% and then 50% again. Lost the coin flip. Okay. Nice. Oh, wait, that means we lose Hella. A little less nice. I guess we could Ghost Rider into Hella technically now, right? You are in Jesus. Oh, and we uh we have Morbius into the Onslaught Citadel here too, right? Oh, man. Muscles like draw bomb next turn. Oh, I could have figured out what the last card in my deck was. I should have done that. Oh, is it Captain Marvel? Our last card's Captain Marvel, right? Which is great. Oh, is it Wave? Oh, Captain Marvel was destroyed by Yondu. Alright, so we play Wave here. And we should hopefully be okay. They have one card in hand. Yeah, with one card in hand, they can't win, right? Because even if they slide this right, we're going up here. I need to be like Blue Marvel or something that powers up their board. They can have something like Claw or Blue Marvel, I guess, but we're pretty unlikely to have either of those. Now, I think this is a spot where snapping is negative. Negative EV. Oh, I need Wave to live. No, no, we're good, right? Yeah, yeah, because they play here and then we win these two. I don't need Wave to live. Oh, I needed Wave to live if they slid over. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they should have done. They should have slid Nightcrawler and then chavez middle. And then well, we just still won that tiebreaker though, right? Because they'd be, um... They'd be plus nine here, which would put them to 33, and I'm up 18 here. So they could have they could have tied and then won and then lost, then I win the tiebreaker. So we we're good either way. I also think snapping there is wrong, because they're so likely to lose with just one card that they almost assuredly are retreating if I raise the stakes, right? Hey, thanks to one of the awesome folks that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember, if you want to see more stuff like this here, smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm absolutely loving all things Marvel Snap. And I'd love to do more of this, and your support makes that possible. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back again real soon for more Snap content here on YouTube.